feel like this is an extraterrestrial terrain. God, I don't know how you can stand this cold. Ooh! Careful. I feel like we should run back. It's hostile out here. So far, I've spent most of my time in West and South Wales. We can't leave without seeing what's cooking up north, especially because this is where I'm going to get my first taste of Welsh fusion food. This area of Wales is actually really popular with Japanese tourists, so much so that the Japanese Tourist Board has named it one of the most beautiful places to visit in Europe. And it's actually the only place in the UK that made it onto that list. So in celebration of that, the Welsh Tourist Board commissioned a kind of hybrid food genre using Welsh foods like leeks, lamb and cockles to make sushi. And they've called it Wushi. Obviously, because I'm a human being, I love sushi, but a bit apprehensive about leek sushi, lamb sushi, not sure if it's going to work. It's amazing because normally when people cook Welsh lamb, it's like a big cut of meat or bigger chunks. But have you developed a taste for it since you moved here? I don't like them. You don't like lamb. She doesn't like lamb. No. <laughs> While popular with tourists, the sushi trend hasn't quite caught on with the locals. But Hisei is hoping to change that by drawing people in with familiar Welsh ingredients. Welsh lamb yakiniku. Yes. Did I say it right? Yes. yes. Cockle and Welsh cheddar cheese wrapped with egg sheet. Mm -hmm. Teriyaki, Teriyaki chicken. chicken and Welsh leek gunkan. Yeah. And egg sheet rolled sushi with lava bread. And did you invent all of these recipes yourself? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, should we start making something? Yes, sure. Lava bread cook. with some soy sauce, sake, sugar. Just put it on the top. Why did you first move to oh, Wales? I moved here when I was 18 to learn English and also to study degree there. And you decided to stay? Yes, I met my husband. What were your first impressions about Welsh people? They're very friendly and warm. Was there anything that you thought was strange? So, even though it's raining, nobody really using the umbrella. That was... <laughs> so these are some little cockles. Welsh cheddar. What made you think that the flavours of sushi would work well with some of these Welsh foods? Sushi is like sandwiches. Right. It goes well with anything. anything. Rice is plain, like bread. This is more fun than making sandwiches. Yeah. This looks a bit like a daffodil. Like a daffodil! Oh my god. I'm going to mess this up, guys. This is going to be a big insult to Japan and Wales. <laughs> <laughs> this is so excellent to be cooked wushi by a Japanese chef in the north of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Welsh cockles and Welsh cheddar. Yes. Wrapped up to look like a daffodil. Yes. My mouth's too small. It's good because it tastes like a sandwich. It doesn't really taste like sushi, mm -hmm. but I like it. Yeah. Beautiful Welsh lamb yes. with spring onion, all in one. Mmm. It doesn't taste Japanese to me. It doesn't <laughs> taste like sushi, but it doesn't taste Welsh. It's something new. Yeah. It's wooshy. <laughs> It tastes like bread and butter. Mayonnaise, chicken teriyaki, leek, and cucumber. Mmm, <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yakida. <laughs> Lamb wushi was a bit of a tease and didn't quite do justice to Welsh lamb's distinguished reputation. 
and I'm not leaving Wales without a proper lamb fix. As luck should have it, we're in the heart of sheep country. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> I'm headed to a farm in the hills of ancient Snowdonia to meet Gareth Wynne-Jones, a.k.a. the Tweeting Farmer. He's trying to change the public's relationship with food one tweet at a time, showing people what his job is really like and where their food actually comes from. <laughs> so you guys will be in the back. Can Ellen sit on me? Yeah. Gareth's family's been farming in Snowdonia for 350 years, producing high-quality Welsh mountain lamb. And I'm psyched because our visit coincides with lambing season. Are you all right? <laughs> the car's giving birth to me. <laughs> there we go. And so are loads of these used pregnant. A lot of these. Do you think any will get born today? There's a possibility. I want to be involved in the birth. That one's quite new. Yeah. The afterbirth's still hanging out of that one. Oh, my God. When was she born? So well, since we've been round. We missed it? Yeah. Yeah. At this time of year, this field becomes one giant maternity ward. After which, Gareth moves the ewes and their lambs up into the mountains, where they have the run of 27,000 acres of grazing land. Why do they go up onto the higher mountains? These are grass-fed, so it really makes a difference yeah. to the taste, okay. where they've had the wild forage and the, 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 the fauna and flora. But what you've got to remember, yeah. we are what we eat. Whatever you feed these guys, it's going to come out. And when you look at the scenery and you smell that air, this is what you taste in our land. Gareth needs a hand herding the ones that have already given birth up to the top. Bring them through into here and then chase them into that pen and then take them on to fresh air, greener pastures. You stand there, Charlotte, for a minute. Charlotte, you run down towards that tree now. Run, run! This one! Tree, quick! Quick! Ah! I lost them. Hands up, Charlotte, hands up. What do I say? Hi now. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Hi now. Charlotte, come on. <laughs> now you close that gate. Right down. Right down. To the right, right, right. Come on, push him. Come on. Brilliant. Chill time now for them. While we wait for another birth to happen, Gareth invites me inside for a lamb supper. This is Welsh lamb from the mountain. More, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sweet. Because of what they eat in the summer, mm. the bilberries and the wild vegetation. Outrageous, it's good. This is our, like, little treat. Mushy peas and bread. Mushy pea roast lamb sandwich. Yeah. Food porn. <laughs> Just as we were preparing to leave, Gareth got word that one of his ewes was ready to give birth. How long does a birth usually take? Depends if it's straightforward. It could be half an hour to three quarters. And but once you see it's in difficulty, you, you go in as quick as you can. He's had this ewe brought in from the fields because she needs help with her delivery. And despite my inexperience, Gareth wants me to get involved. It could be a breach or, you know, it could be a big lamb. And because she's a first-time lambber, we have got to make sure that everything's OK. Oh, my God. Well, do you look, really trust me to do that? Well, this, this is the whole point of you tasting my fantastic lamb. Yeah. You've got to be part of the whole process. She's burst a water bag, so... Oh, she has? You know, yeah, so, you know, we're, 
we really want to go in and have a look. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Put your fingers in now to see what you can feel. What am I looking for? What do you think? What we do? What do we just talk about? Legs. Yes. In here. Yes. Okay, mind over matter. Yeah. Oh my God. Might be a nose. That nose? It's really important that you you get it right. I, I don't know. I need you to no. tell me. That's a hoof. Okay. Think again. I, I don't know. I don't trust my opinion. I'm sorry. Okay. It's a foot. Is it? Yeah. It's one foot, and it's a head. It's one foot. One foot? We need two. Really, but we um, might just have to pull it on one. Yeah, in you go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've got it, I've got it, I've got I'll lamb's pull. hoof. I'll pull. Okay. Okay, there's its little foot coming out. I don't want to break its leg. Oh, look, there's this little mouth. Come on, guy. Come on, little, little guy. Yes. You're coming into the world. I can't believe it. I think I'm going to cry. Keep going, girl. Oh. It is coming, you know. Keep the pressure on. She's, she's a first-time lamber. So she's very tight. Go, 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 go. Both hands. OK. Both hands. <laughs> Oh my god. Go on. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to break it. Get behind his head. Yeah. Strong, man. Pull. Yeah. Now go on. Pull. Pull. You've got to pull stronger. I'm trying. Pull. Yes. Pull. Yeah. Pull. Pull. Oh my god. Is it okay? Oh my god. Is it okay? Is it okay? Oh my god, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. We need to get the fluid out of her. Please be okay. Good boy. Oh my god. Should we do anything to the mum? We've got to go back in now. Oh, please be okay. She needs to let him know. Please be okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's his first little bleed. Welcome to the world. Well done, Shella. Don't cry. I'm not going to cry. Let's go again. Okay. Oh, I'm Okay. I'm going to go in deep. Okay. Go. Just... Okay. For the head, for the foot. What are you feeling? I just said... Think. Use okay. your head. Think. Think with your hands. Really important. Come on. Oh, it's coming. Sorry, I couldn't find you. Behind the head, come on. Behind the head, behind the head. Go. 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 Round, quick. Come on, Shelly. Get mouth clean. Oh, your brother's trying to squash you. I'm the shot. Come on, wake up, baby. Turn him up. Come on. Your turn. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> that boy is on his feet and going for a drink now. That makes, makes me think, like, Human babies are so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stand up for two years. Okay. We would have never delivered them naturally. Really? That would have been dead by the morning. Oh my god. Both of them would have been dead, so you've saved their lives. Yeah, you are a life saver now.
I had no idea that Wales was holding things like this, keeping them from me. I came to Wales to try and learn about the place through its food culture, but I did not expect to end up catching feelings about it. There's a hell of a lot more going on among these bucolic hills than I ever imagined. Sweet baby Jesus in the manger. Wales just hasn't been thrust into the spotlight in the same way as its neighbours, Ireland and Scotland. So why has it been so overlooked? That's filthily good. The people I've met here have a passion for their food. <laughs> but a complete lack of pretension. They let the food do the talking. It's outrageous, it's a... O-M-G. Maybe that's why Wales has managed to slip through the net. I'm just honoured to be in on the secret. Wales, you're full of surprises. Morning, Charlotte. These are the two lambs you delivered. And as you can see, they had a nice little mark to say that you delivered them. Grant, and that's the girl. So, which one do we eat? Crap. <laughs> <laughs>